What's up YouTube? I'm super pumped to share with you how I was able to close yesterday $2,000 a month new client. It's a med spa and today we're going to go over exactly what kind of questions I've been asking, what was working for me and uh, also what was the major closing point. So I'm giving you a couple of tips how uh, you can improve your uh, closing rate. So after, as you continue sticking with me guys here, I'll make sure that after watching this video your, your closing rate will increase at least from 30 to 50 percent and also I'll do some numbers for you here and explain exactly a few awesome steps and strategies what I use with closing my clients so that being said guys let's just dive into it so right now it's like cool intro here you know my music my name but I don't have it yet but anyway so first thing guys uh, whenever I come to uh, whenever I have a sales meeting what I bring with me is just uh, uh, my laptop notebook a pen and your goal is uh, my goal and your goal is supposed to be in the close on a, a sales meeting it's make them talking so you ask you just ask them question in listening you want to find this hot buttons something that they want to fix in their business so then you can reframe and present your services on top of what they want to uh, what they want to figure out and uh, solve in their business what kind of problem so I know you usually get this question or uh, they, they say to you, hey, so tell me what you got, tell me what are your services uh, and how much it's going to cost you and everything. What, uh, what I always do, I never let them ask me the questions. I always reframe, I'm trying to avoid these questions and I'm trying to uh, tell them, hey, before we get into uh, talking about my services, I really want to understand your business, your expectations, your goals before my before making any type of proposal and uh, talking about my services. And then I'm saying maybe it's not even make sense for me to, uh, to talk about my services if I do not understand your business and I don't know, I don't know your goals. Usually after th saying that, they started you know, uh, answering the questions. And here's the few questions that I always, uh, I always ask. First, guys, you need to f figure out what are their goals, okay? Second, what are his expectations uh, what it regarding to you what uh, they want you to do what what they expect from you and also I ask what is the lifetime value of a customer but before before that we're gonna dive in exact numbers and exact uh, closing questions uh, after so after uh, making them talking you want to figure out exactly what they care what is the major major uh, thing that they want to solve in the business? Maybe, uh, maybe the maybe they don't even need a new customers. Maybe they just want to build a brand awareness. So before close a client, you need to before you know present your services. You also you always want to figure out what are their goals, and ask questions and listen, listen, listen. This is gonna be the main point before uh, you present your services. And I know always the always they're gonna uh, you know play around with you or maybe not play but maybe they're gonna be serious like hey I don't have time it happens to me a million times you know or they say hey I have just 10 minutes you know just tell me tell me what are your services in this situation you can say hey maybe it's not a good time for us you know to uh, to, to talk because I have a few meetings to and you don't have to lie uh, you can you can just show them at your value and show that your time is valuable too so you can say hey I don't if you don't have time and I, I don't want to waste my time and go over real quick because it's gonna take us 30 minutes to one hour before we uh, will figure everything out so if they are rushing you out just say hey let's maybe schedule another meeting and we will allow at least 30 to one hour then they will, they will treat you more seriously that they see that okay you're serious about your business and uh, that sometimes trust me guys sometimes they do it do it purposely that they want you to rush you know show them uh, your services don't don't get don't get in this trap make sure to take control and ask them questions ask them questions make them talking and then you will be able to find these hot buttons and press the pain and present your services and reframe it and show it, put your services in front of them and how it's going to help them hope it makes sense Second thing guys, I put, I drew for you some numbers here and I want to go over these numbers exactly how I was able to close this particular client and actually this video inspired me to do, uh, I took insp inspiration for, for this video from Joe Soto, he has an awesome video about that. So second thing guys, 
why you don't want to charge 500 to thousand uh, dollars clients I mean why you don't want to to go lower than thousand dollars first it's hard it's not only gonna hurt you but also it's gonna hurt your clients with if you charge 500 or if you charge even a thousand dollars it's really hard to get any type of results for them so you want guys to make sure that you charge at least 15 to five thousand to ten thousand dollars for your services and I'm gonna explain also why I char uh, why I close for fifteen hundred dollars plus five hundred dollars for ad spend for uh, advertising budget so with it guys I don't know if you see here so as I said don't charge less you your goal is to find qualified uh, client who would be able to afford your services this is the main thing because uh, I spent a lot of time uh, you know prospecting businesses that are not qualified and you I uh, wasted so much time so uh, make sure guys also not work don't work right now with the season businesses what I mean with uh, with businesses that are really really slow in winter like I don't know like uh, actual cryotherapy places I lost a few clients because in winter nobody wants to go to cryotherapy and even even if you run awesome Facebook ads and awesome deals and awesome deals it's really hard to get into people so you're gonna lose this type of seasonal clients so make sure uh, to find like a year year long client it could be you know let's say car dealerships right you can uh, you're able to to get them results every single month because people buy cars you know any season with that being said you guys want to charge at least 15 to two thousand dollars the reason being why first uh, you would be able to hire hire someone uh, to help you out and then you can pay them 500 you know thousand even thousand dollars and you keep the rest so then you would be then it, it will give you a perspective to get to get real results because even if you don't know how to get results for the specific business you're pitching you always can find someone uh, that is even better in this type of business or some uh, you can find help and then you would be able to uh, outsource and uh, handle more businesses because if you have just one client it's really uh, it's it's fine you can handle you know you say hey I can I can uh, I can get a resource with thousand dollars and just do all job myself but if once you got guys five ten clients it's really hard to uh, get any type of results and do all job yourself so make sure to charge more so then you can first you can outsource second you you're able to uh, get better results for them then in this my in uh, the meeting I had with my client that I closed yesterday I uh, I was going to actually in my in my head in the meeting I was going to close them for twenty five hundred dollars for services and thousand uh, dollars for uh, ad spend but then I see you gotta go as as long as the the conversation going uh, sales conversation this is how I do. I kind of figure out the price in, in the conversation. I'm, I don't have like a particular price because it depends actually on the business. For example, that I never had experience working with uh, med spas, right? So I wasn't I wasn't that confident that I'm gonna get them results. So that the reason the, this is the reason why I put my price fifteen hundred dollars for a five hundred dollars spend because I knew that this is new type of business and I wasn't confident, you know, that I'm gonna get them results. So if I would have already uh, ex uh, experience with this type of business, then I would definitely, uh, uh, you know, hire my price up uh, and to close for twenty five hundred because I was I would be able and positive that I'm gonna close them. I mean that I'm gonna get them results. So I priced it for fifteen hundred plus uh, ad spend, and they kind of as the conversation going with your uh, in the in the meeting, they feel they feel they know if you have the type of uh, experience with this business or not if you don't have if you have no idea what's going on so so you gotta be on this you want to you want to be on the same page with your client so so I closed them for fifteen hundred dollars and plus ad spend but here I drew uh, twenty five hundred dollars that you want to look at if you already have experience with a particular client so second guys I told them that hey my goal is gonna be get you 20 new customers each month and uh, uh, as I said I said one uh, uh, maybe it's gonna be less maybe it's gonna be more but our goal is gonna be uh, to get you 20 new customers uh, each month then I asked them a question 
hey, what is the, li the average lifetime value of your customer? This is very powerful question, guys. You want always to, to figure out what one customer was worth to them. And then you are able to, then after figuring out that you're going, you taking a piece of paper and you starting um, writing something like that. Like say 20 new customers are a goal. And, one, and, you, and they say, hey, average about the lifetime value over the course of the year is uh, around uh, $2,000. One customer over the course of the year bring them $2,000. So it means if I'm gonna get them 20 new customers in the door in every single month, so monthly it gives us $40,000. So they're gonna win on the loan perspective. They're gonna, uh, each month they're gonna make, you know, the lifetime value of a customer, $40,000, right? Uh, second, uh, over the course of the year, they're gonna, they're gonna get $440,000 a year uh, new business. So, as you see guys, once you drew these numbers, this type of uh, advertising your, for your services and budget, it's not scary them anymore. And it's not scary you also to charge this type of money because you know that they will get way more. And then if you will just ask them a question, I did, I did, I asked them a question, hey, uh, so uh, if I will get you 20 new customers, what, what brings you $40,000 a month? Uh, are you willing to, are you willing to, are, can you afford my services? They said, of course. They said, hey, if you're gonna give, bring us 20 new customers and they will become new customers, we can, uh, we can pay you even more, you know, five to um, more, five, 5,000 and more. Uh, if you didn't close the client, you always ask your question, what was three mistakes you made? What you could do better next time? This is what, uh, like my ritual, what I do after if I pay out. But before we done that, before we go into that, uh, then I said, they said, of course, we're gonna be you know, willing to pay you even more if you bring us that much business because they see these numbers and they understand that. And guys, if you go in after uh, practices and healthcare places or I don't know, gyms, this for the lifetime value of a customer is really high. For some of uh, you know surgeons, it could be on ten or fifteen thousand dollars. So that's why your uh, pricing should be even way way more. So I'm just giving you the idea. I hope it's so far it makes sense. So next thing, guys. Um, after that, after drawing these numbers, you ask them. They see that, and then it all comes down to trust. If they trusted you or not to uh, start working with you. So make sure guys, when you already draw the numbers in, and you are closing them, uh, if they have these objections, you know, oh, I think I have to think about it or I don't know yet. Uh, so it means that they do not trust you yet that, um, that they are ready to, uh, to start working with you. So make sure also to build a report, some report with the client before the sales meeting. That's why I always, I always uh, meet the client, meet the business owner three, three, four times, you know, following up with that, with him before sit down and talk about the numbers. So second thing guys, if they're gonna say, hey, I, I'm, I can pay you, yeah, I'm willing to pay, you know, 15 or $2,000 just for services, but I'm not gonna spend uh, $500 or $1,000 for, for advertising budget. It's they, they could say, hey, it's supposed to be included in your services. Then you're gonna say, hey, it's like you are buying a nice car, but, you're not gonna, but you don't wanna put gas in it. So this is kind of analogies you want to say, hey, if you imagine that you want to get from a point A to point B and you get a vehicle, but you don't have a gas, which is our advertising budget, how you, how you expect us to succeed? So this type of question, this type of analogy, make them uh, understand why you charge for advertising budget. That's it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to leave your comments if you have any questions to me down below. Leave your comments, your questions. I'll, I'm, I'm pretty active on uh, answering questions uh, and comments. So make sure to also subscribe if you like stuff like that and you like this type of videos. And uh, give this video a thumbs up if you found some value. And also I do daily videos and share with you practical value what I do in my business and what is working. Again, guys, I hope you have a great day. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next.